Hello, welcome back to Freddy in the Shed and a gadget video again this time. And in this video, we're going to be looking at this very tiny pencil soldering iron sent to me by Gearbest for review. Two things make this soldering iron a little bit special. Firstly, is the price. Like most things from Gearbest, it is incredibly cheap delivered here in the UK, just £5.77. If you're in the USA, I should think this will come in at less than $8 delivered. So <laughs> that is pretty cheap. So obviously it's not going to be your main soldering iron. Uh, second thing is it runs off of a USB supply, just 5 volts, and it claims, it claims to be a full 8 watt iron. And you can even plug it into, say, something like a laptop or a mobile phone charger, the sort of things that you're likely to take away with you on a business trip or on holiday. So it might be like a little iron that you might just want to sort of sling in a glove box of your car. And if, for example, you were to break something accidentally and just desperately needed to resolder a wire to a switch or something, um, well, this might sort of get you out of trouble. So we're going to be sort of testing this on a little electronics kit in a minute and actually see if it does work because I say it's only five volts. So anyway, let's uh, see how it gets on. Now, to give the iron its every best chance, I'm going to be using the biggest sort of mobile phone charger I've got, which is in actual fact an iPad charger. This one is rated at just over 2 amps at 5 volts. I'm going to be using the solder that came with the iron itself. It's a very thin solder. I certainly don't think it's going to be the best sort of quality, but uh, hopefully the solder will at least be able to melt it. So once we've got it going, I'll be using the iron just as putting a few components in this little uh, Christmas electronics kit that I'm building because I'm a bit of a kid. Now, the way the solder iron works is a bit strange. It doesn't stay on all the time. What you have to do, there's a little chrome sort of button, if you like. It's sort of uh, touch sensitive. And uh, you just have to sort of hold your finger on that and it heats up really, really quickly. It claims to heat up to full temperature in just about 15 seconds. And here comes the test. And you know what? It really does work as you can see I'm tinning the uh, tip of the solder line for the first time and yeah it is melting the solder amazing just five volts so you know moving on to this sort of solder kit now please excuse my soldering I'm not particularly good at soldering at all and the solder they supply it doesn't flow very well it's obviously a cheap solder but look as you can see it is working it really is working um, yeah just five five volts and it's certainly hot enough to sort of melt the solder and do very very light work and like I said I think this could possibly you know get you out of trouble in a situation where you wouldn't normally be carrying a soldering iron um, just for some very light work I think this could really be quite useful and well you know what can I say a five pound soldering iron runs on five volts and for light work it seems to work <laughs> i'm not going to do an endurance test you know i'm not going to test how long this will run for um for me it's just an emergency use just going to chuck it in the car there and i know it's there you know if i break something if i could even use it in the car plug it into the five volt socket in the car and uh, yeah i know i've got the facility there just to do some very sort of light soldering so there you go just thought i'd bring you this one um links to buy this at gearbest will be in the description below if you're interested but uh, as for now thanks for watching thanks for your view time please give the video the thumbs up if you liked it um, subscribe and hit that bell notification if you haven't already done so but finally as always take care stay safe and of course I'll catch you all on the next one